very good evening to you. Thanks for joining us here on Idea World. This is one of the great shows to watch because we team up with Planet Cruise, one of the preferred cruise agencies in the United Kingdom. And tonight we bring you some exclusive deals, certainly some exclusive offers where you might get free drinks included, you might get discounts, so you go from an ocean view to a balcony, all sorts of things to listen out for throughout the show. It is a different team to the Idea World team, but these are cruise experts that you'll be talking to. And so you'll see at the bottom of the screen a little later in the show a phone number, the team are waiting for your call right now, and you'll also see their website address. You can go there. Nice, nice to go to the web because you can look at the photographs and some of the questions that we might not discuss on the show, you can read about. So lots and lots and lots to hear about throughout the show. We've got a bucket cruise lined up for you as well. Really, really. So if you've got a bucket list, you know, you heard of the bucket list? You've got a dream cruise. This may well be it tonight. Now, I'm glad to tell you I'm not your cruise expert. I have cruised for a number of years, but I'm not your cruise expert. Let me introduce you to Glenn. Who is? Great to join us tonight. Hey, Happy New Year. Happy New Year. I haven't seen you for ages. It's glad to be back. Do you know, I, I always wonder, what's it like in the office after Christmas and New Year's? Does it go quiet? Uh, completely the opposite. If you watch every TV advert at the moment, everyone's talking about holidays. I think everyone's got Christmas out of the way. They've probably got nothing left in the bank. They've got a couple <laughs> of quid, but they think they just want to get away. So start, I, got, I went back in on Boxing Day and it starts to build up. And then from the 1st, 2nd of January, it's been absolutely so you crazy. Went, you went back Boxing Day? I was back in back, Boxing Day, 9 o'clock in the morning. Wow. But it's so busy at the moment. And I think people are booking it. We're doing brilliant £1 deposits at the oh, moment. Yeah, yeah. Direct debit payments where you can pay off the cruise over the next year. And this is when uh, uh, for what us in, it's a What interest do you charge on that if you spread the cost? Nothing. Nothing. Zero so percent interest. Nothing at all. So basically, you can book your cruise now, you pay a deposit, and then pay it off over the next 12 months, 16 weeks before we take the final balance, and, and then off your cruise. And I see you even got a haircut for the show. Well, yes, yeah, I'll talk about that in a minute. But yeah, I always have a little bit of a trim up before I come up. Uh, any shout outs? I know oh, you get a lot of Of course, I've got shout outs. Of course, <laughs> I haven't been here for a couple of weeks. So, first of all, I want to shout out to uh, Brian and Anne uh, Williams. Uh, they're off on the new Explorer, too. Hi, Brian and Anna. So, to give you a call out, they're going to the Caribbean. Very, very lucky. And also, we've got. Uh, David and Anne Julie, I've been dealing with them, they're regular clients of mine. Uh, they're off with the Harrisons to South America, nice. they're going off to Santiago in Chile, they're going into Rio and they're doing a cruise on Holland America. Dealing with you all week, we've managed to get you guys sorted. And finally, I want to give a shout out to Seb. Seb was my hair, hairdresser, he was my barber today. He's got absolutely nothing to do with cruising, but I just said I'd give him a call out. So thanks for the haircut, Seb. Now, now you, you, you say Seb's got nothing to do with cruising, but of course yourself, you, you worked on cruise ships yourself. Yeah, I did 10 years on the ships altogether. Uh, 20 years abroad, 10 years on the ships. And Brilliant. Worked for a number of different companies. I was a short excursions manager, so my job was obviously to take people in the ports of call around, so I've got quite good knowledge. And I've been with Planet Cruise now for, for four years in the right. office. And, and that's true of most of the staff, isn't it? Anyone that we call tonight on the phone, they will have experience with the ships. Yeah, so a lot of them have actually worked on the ships, which is fantastic. Other other ones have obviously visited the ships over the years. We've got a very, very experienced team now. And uh, as I said, we're really, really busy. They're there till 11 o'clock tonight. We're opening longer in January, so Perfect. give them a call. And I'll actually be back in the office tomorrow at 8 o'clock in the morning taking Ouch. calls. So if you want to have a chat with me in the morning, I'll be there at 8 so o'clock. It's not as glamorous as With it a looks. coffee and a croissant and a... And, and, things keep me eyes am open. I right in saying that you're in the middle of a January sale as well? Yeah, so as I said to you before, January is the busiest time. It's a wave campaign with a lot of the cruise lines now. So this is when people are booking it. And as I said, people are booking. As I said before, we've got the £1 deposits, which oh, yeah. are fantastic. Yeah. So you can reserve the cruise today for £1 on many of the deals that we have. Also, we mentioned you can spread the cost with 0% interest payment plan. So you might not have thousands of pounds to pay for cruises now, but you can spread the payment over 6, 10, 12 payments, whatever you want to do, and you can do that. And we've also got our price match guarantee. We'll always price match other cruise companies as well. So if you've had a price from someone else, give us a shout, and we'll do our best for you as well. And there's something to do with afternoon tea, isn't there? Yeah, yeah, afternoon What's tea as well. About? Yeah. So Regent, which is Seven Sea Cruises, one of our oh, six-star nice. deluxe yeah. lines on there, they're actually having an event up in New Newcastle, nice to do something a little bit more northern, and that's going to be at the Vermont Hotel at Newcastle on Wednesday, the 30th of January 2019. You can have an afternoon tea there, Regent Cruises will be there, so if you want to learn a little bit more about that product, you can do so. Just go online at www.planetcruise.com register your interest and you can sign up for that and just just something a little bit different and we do a few of those throughout the year but that one's up in newcastle which is quite nice it's like good good just photo of santorini in the background there Lovely. as well uh, listen we're going to start our first cruise and we've got six crews lined up for you tonight a little bit of something for everyone so you, you heard us talking about cruises that are a long way away this first one for me which is the great british brand of p and o is a perfect starter cruise if you never cruised before and you're yeah. thinking i might like it get on this cruise yeah i think i mean p and a lot of their ships go out of southampton which is a wonderful chance to obviously not have to sort of take flights or travel 
board in Southampton, you can obviously take what you want with you. And Ventura is a really, really popular line. I think the ship's about 10 or 12 years old now, sister ship to the Azura. But I would say if you've never cruised before and you want to literally dip your toe in the water, this is a good opportunity to do this with P&O Ventura. Well, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll start off by having a look at the video clip so we can see what the ships are like and give you some idea what P&O is all about. Don't forget, one pound deposit on this particular cruise. Yeah, so as I said, great seven day cruise on this one. Again, if you want to take the family, we've got a good family price on this one. Great time of year to go, 21st of July, so you know the weather's going to be good. And again, not too far afield, so you're going out, you've got France, Spain and Guernsey on here. And again, with the P&O brand, it's geared towards the British market. Yeah. I know it sounds silly, but people love kettles in their cabins. With P&O, <laughs> there's always a kettle in the We're cabin. We're British, dear exactly. boy. We're now, British. The, the food is based on British food, but because of the uh, nationalities that work on board again it's not just British cuisine so you've got Indian right. and Chinese right. and various types of food throughout all the restaurants Epicurean I've dined in there a number of times that is one of their signature restaurants which is beautiful there is a surcharge to go in there but you might go there on one of the nights of the holiday and of course the buffet and the main restaurant food is included throughout and the, the main restaurant itself is open nearly 23 hours a day Great. Well, so, one of the questions we have to get is tips. You know, is it, tips. Am I right saying they're going to be included? I in think P&O have had enough of tips with people removing them and amending them. So as from May, all cruises with P&O, the tips are going to be included in the price. So you haven't got to worry about that anymore. And it used to be about seven pounds a day, but as from May, they're going to be included in the cruise price. And obviously, right. this so, is uh, applicable for this. So that price cruise. you're looking at. Look at that price on the screen: six hundred and fifteen pounds, including tips, because and we're talking July. And July, which is you know the height of the season, and you you know start the school holidays. That is a really really good price on there. But again, with the the kids' places, three and four berth cabins. If you're looking at taking the kids now, you've got to get in quickly. Yeah, this is a great one to go. And of course, Southampton to Southampton. So our first port of call is Sherbourne. Yeah, so this is nice. So obviously when you go down there, you can obviously have the parking at Southampton. You can also set this holiday in Winchester if you want to stay there the night before. It's £95 per person, and that will be a night stay. That will be your transfers to the port, bed and breakfast in the hotel. Parking. And parking, of oh, course, at the hotel. Brilliant. So it's a, just a nice way to start the holiday. But again, your first port of call here is down into Cherbourg in France. Now, a great sailing here, and it's really the gateway into a number of different destinations. You go over to possibly Honfleur, De Ville, even to the Bayeux Tapestry in that Normandy area, but beautiful castles and jeets there, and a stunning part of the world, just to start your holiday. Then what's nice, we have a day at sea, just to relax right. and take in the actual amenities on board, a bit yeah. of sunbathe in that time of year, maybe try some of the restaurants, the spa, the salon, the shops, you've got an opportunity to do that. And then we go down into Spain, into La Coruna. Now, La Coruna in the Galicia area, northwest Spain here, again, the weather will still be good at this time. Nice just to wander off and meander into the streets, also a trip over to Santiago de Compostela, which is the UNESCO World Heritage Site. That's normally a morning tour, and then you've got the afternoon to go and wander around, do a bit of shopping. The gentleman that actually owns Zara and Pull and Bear, oh, he, yeah. generates, he, he lives in this area. So again, good shopping in this part of the world. Then down into Santander, it's not your uh, Red Bank, it is actually a place called <laughs> Santander. And from here, you can go over to the cathedral, beautiful beach area there as well, wandering to the back streets. You've also got the Magdalena Palace to go and view. And if you want to go walking along the coastline, a nice opportunity to do that. But as I said, the weather will still be good. Then another chill out day at sea, just to take it easy. And then we go into one of my favourite destinations in this part of the world. Now, I would have thought probably a lot of people haven't been into the Channel Islands, even though it's not far from where we live. Yeah. But St Peter Port Guernsey is where the rich and famous oh, have a lot of their properties. Home. But if you go into St Peter Port, what a lot of people do is do a tour in the morning. You can go to the smallest chapel in the world. Yeah. I would also recommend a visit because obviously it was occupied by the Germans, the only British destination Great occupied by the Germans. There, and they've got the underground museum there, yeah. the hospital. Very eerie to go there, but that's quite interesting. And then in the afternoon, bars and restaurants all in that port area. Wander back to the tender point, back to the ship, and then from there you are back into Southampton. Well, uh, uh, prices like this, 615 per person. Let's show you what's included. You can already see on the screen that tips are included. That's because from May, p and will be including them. So if you're on a cruise prior to May, don't be saying, oh, I heard him say tips are included. Uh, we are talking about July and August for this particular cruise. Uh, if you want other dates, always call the team. So if there's something that comes up on the screen and you're interested in it, call the team because they can answer those questions for you. It is a Planet Cruise exclusive with that deposit from just one pound. As we said, tips are included. A family four on a balcony, not a basic cabin, but a balcony, Less than four grand, which is three seven six Before we go any further on that, that, the reason we're not advertising the inside and the ocean views for family of four, they're already sold out. Really? Because it's that time of year. So again, upgrade to the balcony, but they've got family of four cabins for, for 
on a balcony at the moment. Did you hear that at home? Already sold out. So if you if you want these, be as quick as you can. ID number, you can see it on the screen right now, 156571. There is an ID number for every cruise we talk about tonight. Worth writing one down if you like the cruise, because you can share it with the team on the phone. That'll help them save them some time. You can also put it into the search engine on planetcruise.com and it will bring up photographs and information on the cruise. So let's go through the pricing because there are various uh, availabilities for you. Uh, so you can see from 6.15 inside cabin, we've got outside balcony and suites. And the dates are available on this currently at the moment, 21st of July and 23rd of August. But if you need something else, call the team. That's the key to success. So that's P&O. We're now going to go, I was lucky enough to go on this next line as a passenger. I got sent on the company that I worked for. said, go on Holland America and see what they're oh, all about. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? It wasn't uh, paid. <laughs> I got paid to go. And I've got to tell you, I, absolute hands on heart, best food I ever had at sea. Yeah. Best food I ever had. They're a very, very good line. They're a five-star line on there. I've just been dealing with, I say the guests are just together, call out to, they've booked Holland America this year. And, and they are a classical line. They're five-star, great service, as you mentioned, very, very good food. And they are beautiful, beautiful ships. But what's so nice about this one, this is doing my favourite ever destination. I did 10 years of short excursions manager and New Zealand was my favourite destination. And yeah. I would say, a lot of people do Australia, but they miss out on New Zealand. My wife is desperate to go to New Zealand. And uh, as I said, when I did that cruise it was the best one I ever did. Well I did say at the start of the show there's a couple of bucket list cruises this is certainly one of them so we catch a plane and we go out to Auckland. Long old flight you can't go much further down to Auckland so again we can break this up if you want you can speak to the team about maybe stopping in Dubai or Singapore yeah. on the way down but yeah. again if you're going to stick with the package we've given you two nights in Auckland and I think two nights is probably long enough first day to recover second day to do your sightseeing again with this one you can go to the zoo the sky tower is the famous site where you can actually lean off or even do it a bit of not bungee jumping so much but lean off the sky tower there you can see and wonderful views good restaurants there and as i said i think i think two days in auckland is probably long enough and then from there we actually join your ship you're going to be joining the nordam now what's quite nice about the nordam holland america five star maximum capacity is 1900 people now oh, people that haven't cruised before that probably sounds like a lot but with ships now with six six and a half thousand people 1900 is now classed as a small to medium sized ship wow. and it's quite nice there's plenty of deck space there the ships themselves are very relaxing and with this one as well it's going to be quite port intensive to start with and then a little bit more relaxing so Gear yourself up with New Zealand, and then as you head back over to Australia, a little bit more chance to relax. Well, we've just given you a few images there, so you've got some idea what the ship's like. But let's take a moment to look at a video. In fact, can you talk us through what we're looking at? Yeah, so again, we say about colour and the excellence with, uh, with Holland America, and they are one of the best out there. And again, um, very, very different restaurants throughout the ships. The Pinnacle Grill is a beautiful one. That's your steakhouse, which I always go for. But again, you've got different restaurants there. Of course, the main restaurant, the buffet is included. You've got some of the uh, speciality that on this cruise of this length, you're going to try a few of those throughout the cruise. Yeah. Entertainment, they're always updating the shows on there. Geared to, of course, multi-generation as well. I always say Holland America, I think, is, is not so much a family ship, and I might get told off for that. I think it's more of a couple's yeah, uh, vessel. Um, but again, people may have a different opinion on that. But again, uh, great experiences on board. The staff there are very, very good. And again, the cabin sizes, the general ominous of the ship as well is beautiful. And as I said, it ties it in quite nicely with the amount of port you've got on this particular cruise and the sea days to relax. And as I said, you'll have plenty of time, especially when you're going down into the Delford Dusky Sounds, through the Fjordlands of New Zealand, some of the views around uh, Taronga, Picton, Napier. This is a great vessel to do this. And if you look at the price on there, that's 21 nights. It's just over £100 a day. That's not bad value, and that includes your flights, your stays, and your cruise. Yeah. Not bad value. When you put it in that respect, that's brilliant, isn't it? Really, really great. Come on, let's talk our way through the itinerary, because this is exciting. OK, so you've got the North and the South Island. My personal opinion, I prefer the South to the North, and I'll explain that in a moment. But we're going to start at the North and head down to Taronga. Now, Taronga is a very lively, quite young resort, and it's quite geared up to a lot of the activities they do there. Now, again, you've got Waiotapu. That's where the uh, sulphur area is. That's the volcanic area. It smells of the sulphur, but again, you get that experience of the volcanic islands. You've also got Wamarino Adventure Park. You could do skydiving, you can go zorbing, and that's the mountain that just as you come out where you dock, you'll see that. That's where we dock just along Gorgeous. from there. Then you go into Napier. Now, Napier's got, again, more to do with the animals. You've got marine land, you've got the aquarium, you've got Cape Kidnappers as well. This is where two of my favourite things, you've got golf and wine. 
do them together. It's a <laughs> makes the round go much, much quicker, especially the way I play. <laughs> we then head down into Wellington. Now, Wellington, again, you've got the cable car, you've got the zoo, you've got the better caves, the botanical gardens. Now, a number of these destinations also Lord of the Rings, The Hobbit. Oh, yeah. Again, that's where that was filmed. So we did our tour with Lord of the Rings in Wellington, and they wow. took you to some of the sites wow. where they were filmed. Again, very, very interesting if you are a yeah, film buff. My old kids would love that. Moving down to Picton, moving on to wine, you've got the Marlborough wine, one of my favourite white wines. If you tried a bottle of that in your local supermarket, maybe have a bottle before you go down there. But again, you can go out to the vineyards there. You've got the beautiful harbour, but as I said, a fabulous destination to go down into Picton. Then we're starting heading down to the South Island. Now, the reason I said I like the South Island better, it's a lot more desolate, a lot more wild, less people there. And the views, if you can upgrade to a balcony on here, the sailaways on some of these South Islands were the best I ever had in my 10 years of wow. being on a cruise ship. Akaroa, we actually went and swam from the port area there to swim with the dolphins. Not in an enclosed area with wild dolphins. We swam with those. Wow. Again, we did a couple of the city tours. Beautiful views in Akaroa. And then down into Port Chalmers. Port Chalmers, a couple of things to see there. That's the home of the Cadbury's factory, so if you like your chocolate, you can go there. But the one trip I would recommend is the trip on Thierry Gord, the train. Now, when I was selling this, I didn't realise the train actually pulls along the actual pier area and you board straight onto the train and Brilliant. go onto Thierry Gorge. It's stunning as you go through the countryside there. One of the best train trips. I've done the Rocky, remember? Thierry Gorge is right up there. It's a beautiful day tour and I would recommend there. Finally, we head back into a place called the Fjordland, the National Park. You've got Dusky, Doubtford and Milford Sounds. And if you've done the fjords in Chile, you've done the fjords in Norway, this is as good. And again, when you go in there, you normally go in the morning. Yeah. It's very eerie, the cloud is low, and everyone's standing out on the, on the decks taking in the views. And you've got, if you can get in with the sea conditions, three fjords to go in there. Wow. We then have two days at sea as we wave goodbye to New Zealand and then another fantastic destination that you don't often go to on these down under tours and that's Hobart, Tasmania. Quite a, quite a British feel, if you like your fish and chips there's a really good restaurant around the corner from the pier area. Two things to see here, we, did, we went and saw the kangaroos, um, they've got a wildlife park there. The other thing we did is a place called uh, Port Arthur. Now Port Arthur is famous for two things. One, it's a penal colony, it's the old prison colony oh, yeah. when the convicts used to come over there. The prison is still there and you can wander around and get a feeling of that. The other thing which is modern history and it's an unfortunate event, that's where they had the, the shooting there about 25 years ago. The worst shootings ever in, in, in Australia and that again unfortunately is another pit that's put it on the map. But again there's a, a bit of an information about that. So it's quite interesting to go there and see that and that's Port Arthur. Then from there we have a day at sea and then into the second city of Australia. Now Sydney I class as London, Melbourne I class as Manchester. That's the best way I can describe <laughs> it. And I think Melbourne's more quirky. Obviously, right in the news at the moment, that's where Andy Murray just retired from tennis yeah, yesterday. Yeah, yeah. They've got the Australian Open, famous for its sporting events. And again, you've got the rooftop bars there in some of the places. And as I said, Flinders Street, you've also got a trip over to um, uh, Corunda. You've got plenty of places to go and see there, but I do would say that Melbourne is great. They also do something very interesting there, which is their old crime. They used to have crime rates there with the Mafia, and they do crime tours there where you can go and see some of the local areas, and that's very interesting. But Melbourne is very, very quirky. Then a day at sea, and then we head back into Sydney. Sydney, so much to see here. The Opera House, the bridge, you can go walk it, you can sail under it. You can also go off to Manly or Bondi. We've given you two nights here in Sydney. Do me a favour and extend it to an extra night three. Probably looking at about another 70 to 80 pounds per person per night. Worth it, though. Have it? three days in yeah, Sydney, yeah, extend yeah. it. Now, just to let you know, we've got a couple of dates on this, and it can work in reverse. So you might fly to Sydney and finish in Auckland. Oh, do the, you might do the fly to Auckland and around. finish in Sydney. It can work in reverse. Gotcha, gotcha. And also, if you're wondering, you know, why should I go with Planet Cruise? You'll get a free upgrade from Ocean View to Veranda. And, of course, it can be deposit only. And as we showed you at the very start of the show, you can spread the cost as well for 0% interest. So it's really, really worth considering. So we've got the 5th and 19th of November. Oh, who is it? The 5th. No, the 19th, 19th of November. The 19th of, what's the 5? 5 or 19th of November, 4 and 17th of December. Multiple there we go. Dates, there we go. Yeah. Two night hotel stay in Auckland and Sydney, so two nights in each of those. But as you say, you might want to make Sydney three nights. A free upgrade from Ocean Viewers for Ender, as I said. 14 night cruising on a five star hotel. The Nordam is gorgeous. The food 
is amazing. Itinerary operates in reverse on some dates, as uh, Glenn, just, Glenn just told us. And of course, you've got the return flights from London and all your overseas transfers. So we've got those flights from London as well. as well. We're flying that destination. We could probably do Manchester, Birmingham, Glasgow, Newcastle with Emirates. So we can do that for you as well. And there you can see the uh, availability of those dates right now. So don't miss out on that one. That's the Holland America Cruise ID C, uh, 203811. 203811. Now, I'm being told we, we've got coming in... Oh, a last, a last minute deal. Ship docking. A last minute deal, I'm being told. Is a last minute deal. Do you know about this one? Yeah, so we're getting a lot of people phoning up at the moment looking for last deals. This is, you won't get much cheaper than this. This is seven night Italy, France, Spain from Barcelona. So they're going to be based on flights from London. We can look at alternatives, but they are based on London. And this is on the 25th of Feb 2019 on the Costa Diadema. ID is 145754. But as I said, other airports available at supplement. Transfers are not included. If you want us to add them on, we're looking at about 40 quid per person. Yeah. But you can take taxis. Good ports are called Barcelona, Parma, Palermo, Rome, which is Chippewa Vecchia, Savona, Marseille down in south of France, and then back into Barcelona. If you're fed up with the, the, the winter and you want to get on a cruise, that's not a bad price. From 4 99 per person. What's it, £72 per person per night? And that well, includes your flights. That's crazy. And your food and your entertainment. If you've never cruised, that's another one, really, a great way to start. Cruise ID on there is 145754. That is a last-minute deal, so you need to pick up the phone as soon as you can. Numbers at the bottom of the screen, 0808 250 2662. Or, of course, you can go to planetcruise.com, or you can go to idworld.tv like you usually do, and just put cruise, and you'll see the whole page will come up, and you'll find it there. But we're going to move on to our next one. This is Carnival Cruise Lines. My, nope. my sister also worked on no, cruise ships. Emerald. We're going on to Emerald. Oh, oh, oh I've gone, gone. I've jumped to cruise. I've jumped to cruise, yes. We're going to Emerald... This is the River Cruise. This is a River Cruise, yeah. So obviously, uh, as people know that watch the show and, and phone in, we're doing a lot of these River Cruises at the moment. And we would class them as sort of five-star lines on there. And what's nice about the River Cruising, we're, we're getting loads and loads of people at the moment that have done ocean cruising and yeah. then just want a bit of a change. Maybe they're, they're fed up going on the big ships. They want something a bit smaller. So much, much smaller ships. And again, this is a much more immersive trip to go out in the smaller ports of call. You're docking in a different port every day. And what's so nice, you've got continual moving scenery on this and one. Am I right? So the, the excursions are included in this trip Excursions well. are included on this one, yeah. Nice. And the food is exceptional. As I said, the catering from 100, 150 people, which is beautiful. And as I said, they are five star. Right, let's have a little look at the cruise lines. We've got some idea of what it's all about. So Emerald cruises, or they say Emerald Waterways. They? they do, they say Emerald Waterways, but again, you can see the ships. I think people that have never been on a river cruise before are not sure what to expect, but they are modern luxury at sea. Yeah. And again, as I said, having just a small amount of people on board gives you so much ease to get on and off in the ports of call. Now again, as I mentioned before, as you're sailing along, like you can see here, continual moving scenery. And depending on, the, on obviously the, the sweet grades that you take on there, depends on, of course, uh, the more views that you're going to have. Now again, they haven't got the rock climbing walls and the surfing simulators yeah. but they are geared up for what you need on a seven day package on here now the food the drink and again the, the whole ambience of the evening is much more relaxed being on a river cruise they don't have so much entertainment in the evening they may have some local acts come on they'll have uh, you know sit around have a drink chat to people people don't chat anymore especially on these big cruise ships so this is what the river cruise is so nice right. you meet so people on the tours it. you join up for dinner in the evening and then you just sit back relax taking the views and obviously and it's a lot lot more relaxing in than being on some of the big cruise lines. But as I said, the feedback we're getting, not only from Emerald, but most of the river cruises we do, they love it and it's just a different experience on water. And, and I'm being told we've already got lots of sellouts on these particular cruises, so we'll show you those at the end. And this is deposit only, deposit yeah. only. So let's go on to uh, the actual itinerary. Yeah, so this itinerary can work in reverse. Obviously, it'll go down one way and then go back the following week. Yeah. So with this one, we're going over to start in Nuremberg, and that's where you'll be joining the vessel, obviously greeted by the staff. And of course, the captain will introduce themselves and tell you exactly what to expect. And then from there, we go down into Kelheim and Regensburg. And again, from here, with Regensburg mainly on here, you're going to have a guided walking tour. The same with Kelheim as well. And as I said, the excursions are in Included. The buildings here are absolutely spectacular. Again, you've got a chance to go out with the guides in small groups and learn a lot more about the local area, which is fantastic. But again, the whole time going down this Danube River, which is beautiful. We then move on into um, uh, Passau. And again, from Passau here, we're going to go through the cobblestone streets, the graceful arcades, and they're going to welcome you into this stunning city. In the afternoon, you've got a chance to have a walking tour. You can stroll through the sort of narrow valleys there. You can see the hilltop Oberhaus Fortress, and from the town below, you'll get some great views. And they've also got St. Stephen's Cathedral 
which is beautiful with its Baroque architecture from there. Then we go into Melk and Dernstein. Now, down in uh, Melk to start with here, you can see the beautiful picturesque landscapes that you can see in some of the pictures there. You've also got the 900-year Benedictine Abbey of Melk, which is beautiful and a great view from there. And then in the afternoon, we go into Dernstein, Again, an enchanting village there, famous for its wines, so you're going to try to chance uh, some of the wines there. And it was also the site of the castle where Richard the Lionheart was imprisoned oh, wow. back in the 12th century. So if you like your history and your culture, you've got a chance to do that. Then we move on to one of the highlights, which is, of course, Vienna and, of course, the capital of classical music. And again, you've got a couple of different tours here. One, you can take a drive along and see some of the beautiful attractions, which, of course, the Opera House and the Town Hall. Wow. And then from there, you can also, if you wanted to, maybe take one of the guided bike tours. If you're feeling a little bit more active, you've eaten too much on board the wow. ship and you want to go off and you can do that as well. But again, St. Stephen's Cathedral is another spectacular site there. Moving from there on to Bratislava. Now, as I said to you, most of these destinations, if you speak to regular cruise passengers, probably haven't visited here before. And yeah, these are why I, these I I people love these places. Now, this is in Slovakia and, again, of course, the capital. And from here, you've got a chance to go around the old city. You've got the town hall. You've got the Mirabak Palace and the Gothic Cathedral of St. Martin. And, again, another chance there if you want to do one of the guided hikes. And in, they also do a tour there where they take you to one of the, the homes of the local Slovakians where you can have coffee and cake. Nice. I hope we let them know we're coming. But yeah, we'll be there <laughs> for them as well. And then back into beautiful, beautiful Budapest. And here it's one of Europe's most liveliest and cosmopolitan cities. Again, you've got the Hungarian Parliament, you've got the Buddha Castle and the chain link uh, bridge that links Buda and Pest because they are two separate areas yeah. on there. From there, you've got an overnight on there to relax your say farewell to your, 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 your friends you've met on board because you will meet friends on these river cruises. And from there, you'll be flying back. What a wonderful, wonderful destination. And the Danube is one of our most popular destinations. Now, I want to make this clear to you at home that the savings here are up to £800. Well, let, I can read through it for you right now. TV show exclusive, so free, all-inclusive drinks, as we've been showing you on the little blue bar. Savings are up to £800. Plus, if you're going for a balcony suite, an additional £200 on top of that. And the savings will be included in the prices that I'll show you in a moment. Uh, the excurs excursions at every port are included. The overnight on board in Budapest is included. You use the ship as if it were a hotel, so you can get on and off as much as you like, come back whenever you like, go out whenever you like. Ships and itineraries differ depending on the departure date. As we say, you may, you may do the trip the other way around. And it also includes your return flights. Uh, from London, plus all your overseas. Again, with a flight, so based too. on London, we can look at alternatives for people if they want to go to Manchester or uh, other areas, but as I said, we just need to give them a call to find out. And as you will have seen as well, on the little blue bar spinning around it, it said free Wi Fi, free tips, and free drinks. The free drinks is a TV exclusive, so please don't miss out on that. So your cruise ID on that one was 167471. Now, I believe, oh, they, we're going we're gonna to go, go chat to the office in a moment. Before we do that, yeah, I told you some of these are already sold out. And these are already including the savings. And again, you can spread the cost. That's a, that's a great price in August. That's a lovely time to go as well. And spread the cost with 0% interest. Yeah. So you haven't got to pay it all in one go. It's a great way to go. Again, the phone number's at the bottom of the screen. You might want to write that down because after the show, if after the show you decide to call the team, that phone number won't be there. So write the phone number down now. Uh, planetcruise.com is the website, and of course you can go to that and you can put your cruise ID number in and you'll be able to read more information there too. But any questions, call the team. Is, 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 Rob, is Rob available? Is Rob, is Rob on the phone? Rob, can you hear us? And you're all right, guys. Hi. Hi, Robbie. Happy New Year. You too. If we do your office again, it's busy already. Really? Yeah, that's fine. They're all waiting until 8 o'clock tomorrow morning, mate, when I'm back. <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> and and, and oh, any particular cruise that's busier than the others, or any questions that are coming up time and time again? Yeah, p and one seems pretty popular straight away, so anything out of the UK always does well. But if you're looking for something a little bit further afield, we've got something from Morella. Uh, we've got the Morella Explorer 2 for you, adult-only ship. And it's the 2nd of April for this year. Now, we've got a seven-night sailing on that. We are going through and we are doing Mallorca, Sardinia, Naples, Rome, Corsica, Panama, and then back from Mallorca. We've got Bristol flights on that, although, as Glenn always says, there's other flights available potentially with a supplement. <laughs> we've got 725 per person for the inside cabins. A little bit more, 764 for the outside, but just 878 for the balconies. Now, wow. the great thing with this... All inclusive drinks and tips. So once you've paid that eight seven eight for the balcony, you're done. Drinks, tips, 
flight included, everything sorted. Robbie, is that one of the first sailings? Because that's the new Morello Explorer 2, isn't it? It's just literally It is, yes. Yeah, so 2nd of April, so if you're looking for something, you know, a couple of months from now, absolutely perfect on what is a ship new to the fleet as well, so fantastic. The good news as well, with how busy we've already been, we've got a few guys that are going to stay on till 11 tonight, so rather than close at 10 as usual, we've got a few people who are going to chain them to the desk so they can't go anywhere. <laughs> uh, so if you need us, we'll be about. Great, I really appreciate it. Thanks for calling in. Cheers, Rob. See you tomorrow. Not a problem. Cheers, guys. Have Bye. a busy night. Bye. That Explorer 2 is the new ship coming out. So they've launched Discovery 1 and 2, Explorer 1, and now Explorer 2. So it's going to be one of the first sailings. Brilliant. Yeah, fantastic line. So if, if you like the, the, the things about Britain and you want to take that with you home from home, Morella's certainly one to consider. Now, a little earlier, because I, I, I forgot they had the... Gun, the uh, yeah, I jumped ahead to Carnival Cruises because my sister worked there. She was with them about six years. Absolutely loved it. I was lucky enough to cruise with them myself a couple of times. And I always think of these guys as being a little bit like Las Vegas at sea. Yeah, they're very, they're very, very popular. Their prices are excellent. And if you have a look at that price at the moment, we're doing Vegas, flights, a cruise, for eight, seven, nine per person. That's three nights in Las Vegas. Yep. And you get to get uh, go on a seven-day cruise. Oh, yeah, and flights and around Mexican included. Riviera. Yeah, exactly. Come on, it's brilliant value for money. I, I, I personally like it. I think a really, really fun... Well, in fact, let's take a look at the video and we g give you the opportunity to see what I mean. I really do believe they are like Las Vegas at sea, but come on, we're going to start in think, the real I think if Las you've Vegas. never been to Vegas before, again, it is, uh, it's a place like no other in the world. Again, we've based it on a hotel. It's probably based on something like the Luxor Hotel. Again, if you want to change the hotel, you want to change it, we're not affiliated to anyone, so we can... We can change your hotel but really whenever you stay in vegas you end up going look at everyone else's hotels anyway yeah, so yeah but the strip is fantastic if you like a game of golf you want to go clubbing you want to go pubbing you want to go uh, and gamble the uh, night away you can go helicopters rise over to the grand canyon and the hoover dam you know we've done it with three days again if you want to move it to four or five days we can do that for you and as i said we've probably based it on the luxor or a very very similar hotel but we can always alter that for you if you want but vegas is second to none and, and i don't want you to make the mistake i did I, when i first went out there I was a little bit reluctant because I thought it was gambling, 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 yeah, yeah, gambling. Yeah. It's not. It's not. It's great. And we, we went to three shows. My wife and I went to three shows a day. So you, know, you do as much or as little as you want. It's your holiday. But please don't think it's just gambling, gambling, gambling. It is not. There is so much to see. You saw the Eiffel Tower there. Some great hotels to visit. You, your jaw will just drop. A little tip for you. The first ten callers on this one, the first ten bookings, I should say, first ten bookings will receive a social Wi-Fi pack as well. So you get to use Wi-Fi for free on, on the cruise. So do consider that. So really, first ten, first ten bookings on it. So we're just in Vegas. Yeah. Let's have a little look at the ship. So what we're going to do, so people are going, well, how do we get to the ship from Vegas? Because it's not so many ports are called in, in no, Vegas itself. So what we're going to do, we're going to fly into Vegas and then we're going to fly to LA. Oh, nice. Now, obviously from LA, you're going to embark the ship. Again, if you can do it and you've got the time, Time, I would go out two or three days early, maybe extend and have four days in Vegas, and then from there fly to LA and have two days in LA, do Hollywood, do the Walk of Stars, but we haven't included that, but we can do that for you and add a couple of extra days in Vegas, um, in LA, and then from there join the ship and turn it into a slightly longer package. And it makes sense, Kim, you've flown all the way out there, you may as well enjoy the whole trip, and I, I was lucky enough to live in LA for four years. Go Rodeo Drive and spend about three times on what the actual cruise is, though. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's the one for uh, the Beverly Hills. Three days in Vegas, <laughs> a flight over and then join the ship. But if you want to extend it, the boys can do that for the Great. boys and girls. Well, we've got a video clip of the ship. And again, you're going to see what I mean when I say it's like Las Vegas at sea. If you love an affordable, exciting, action-packed time for all the family to enjoy, Carnival is the perfect cruise line for you. Known for their fun ships and having completed a recent fleet-wide upgrade to fun version 2.0, they've redefined the experience of a family holiday. With an incredible selection of superliners that will take you around North America, the Caribbean and Europe, Carnival offers you a unique, informal holiday experience where everyone in the family can relax and enjoy the ultra-modern features and great entertainment on board. On a Carnival cruise, your stateroom is your home base, so after a fun-filled day, you'll always have the perfect retreat to relax in, no matter which stateroom type you choose from. Whether you're thinking of a simple interior, or ocean view, or going grand with a balcony or suite, you'll find a well-appointed and comfortable home away from home to wind down the day in. Outside, here in the sunshine, Carnival likes to make the most of the open deck space, giving you a selection of pools, whirlpools and water slides for all the family to enjoy. Carnival offer a huge selection of daytime activities with deck parties, fun games, shows, quizzes, crazy golf, high ropes, dance classes and one of the best children's clubs, which features Seuss at Sea, giving your child's imagination a chance to run wild. Carnival does everything big and with a lot of fun thrown in, so why would dining be any different? 
with a huge range of options from the glamorous main dining rooms, which offer a huge selection of culinary delights from around the world. You can visit the Mongolian Wok, where you can chow down on some authentic Asian cuisine, or how about a visit to the famous Guy Fieri's burger joint? What's not to love? Getting a drink on board a carnival ship is never a problem, as there's a bar for every occasion. Whether you fancy a classic martini before the show, a fruity cocktail with some lively music, or a pint in the sports bar, one thing's for sure, you can enjoy your holiday the way you want. Even when night falls, the fun doesn't stop, as Carnival really delivers night after night with entertainment from intimate piano bars, their famous Punchliners comedy studio, not forgetting their spectacularly staged musicals and productions performed in a magnificent theatre. Sailing out of LA, where do we go to? Well, we're going to do the Mexican Riviera, so that's what these ships are geared up for. So we're going to have a day at sea, which is great, because you might have been busy in L.A. and Vegas, and yeah. you just want to relax and a little bit. And you want to enjoy the ship. Exactly. And loads, I loved it. I did the Vista a couple of years ago, and I thoroughly enjoyed it for our holiday. And then we go down to, as I said, the Mexican Riviera. We're going to start, first of all, at Cabo San Lucas. Right, so Cabo, Cabo San Lucas, again, really big on sort of the water sports and the beaching area yeah. here. So you've got your snorkel, your parasailing. You could do a bit of horse riding, deep sea fishing, take out one of the ATV tours and explore the area, but a great part of the world. We then go into Mastalan, not Mastalan, Mastalan. Uh, it's slightly <laughs> different. And from there, again, water based as well. You're scuba diving, you can also do things like your canopy and zip lining, chill out on the beach. They do a great trip there called Sombreros and Tequila, which is one I'm after. And as I said, a little bit more horseback riding. It does come to life at night time as well. But again, that mix Mexican Riviera is wonderful. And then from there down into Puerto Vallarta, and from here you can a chance to actually swim with the dolphins in captivity there. So a little bit more of an interactive experience with them. Again, ATV tours. They do the pirate ship tour as well, which is wonderful if you've not done that. And it is a bit of a party area there, but great beaches and a beautiful area. And then what's nice about this is a couple of chill out days just to take it easy before your flight home. So as I said, do what you want. If you want to stick with that tour, that is a wonderful right price. But if you can extend it a little bit longer, maybe make it 14 nights, extra day in Vegas, a couple of extra days in LA. Yeah, great, great cruise. That's one to consider. Go on, let's go through what's included. So TV exclusive. Those first 10 bookings receive a social Wi Fi package. A three night hotel stay in Las Vegas, that's included. Seven night cruise on the Carnival Splendor. Uh, and you got to see a video of that, so you have some really good understanding of what the whole cruise is about. A lot of energy, a lot of fun. Uh, itineraries differ just slightly depending on the departure date. You can talk to the team about which ones you're on. Uh, return flights included from London Heathrow, but at any, any other airports, talk to the team and find out more. Deposit only, and there is limited availability on this one. So let's. Take a moment to see the prices. It won't be deposit only on these. Wow. Most of these, up, up through to about May time, we payment, and then July, August, September will Great. be deposit only on them. Great. So you can see from as little as, well, I'm trying to find the lowest one there. Well, 27, 27th of Feb is brilliant. 879 on the 27th of Feb, 949 for an outside, and even the balcony price is pretty good on there. Some really, really good deals on that if you want to see that part of the world. Now, another special lined up for you. Just got to be very quick on this because time is against us. This is a special for solo travellers, correct? Yeah, so we get a lot of solo travellers that watch it, and obviously this is a deal exclusively. So it's just for solo travellers, and this is another great itinerary on the Blue Danube, and this is on Riviera travel. We sell loads and loads of Riviera, and it's always popular when we have it on the show. 4th of November 2019 for seven nights, and this is the, again on the MS Thomas Hardy. We featured that a lot. The ID is 183743. It's exclusively to solo travellers, there's no supplements. You've got a £1 deposit on that. Excursions are included in every port, and return flights again are based on London. Yeah. We look at alternatives, and some of the big ones we've just been talking about is Bratislav, uh, Dernstein, Melk, Linz, Salzburg, Vienna. And uh, as I said, this one is going to sell very, very well. And if you want to get on that one, get it booked tonight and give the guys a call. Come on, that's crazy, isn't it? Just put a pound down. The cruise ID on those is 183743. But let's continue our journey. Now, this next one, this next deal that we tell you about, be quick on this because this deal ends at midnight tomorrow. Yeah, so we've so got a bit of an exclusive offer on there at the moment, but it will finish tomorrow. Midnight Wednesday, so there's no com confusion there. Midnight Wednesday, this deal will be ending. And we're talking celebrity cruises, another phenomenal cruise. Line, my sister's favourite cruise line, actually. Uh, we're going to start with a little video clip so we get some feeling of what Celebrity Cruises is, is all about. Do you want to talk us through this one? Yeah, of course. Uh, uh, you know, people watch the show a lot. They know how I feel about and Sean feels about Celebrity. They're, they want to have a big product. Yeah, he is. And, you know, for the bigger ships, I, I, 
You shouldn't have your favourites, but it's one of my personal favourites. I just think they're great ships. The level of service is exceptional on there. And a lot of people that we have never been with Celebrity before and then convert tend to stay with Celebrity time and time again, which is always a very, very good uh, uh, endorsement. Now, again, the food on board is exceptional. They've got loads and loads of speciality restaurants, but the main restaurant, as you can see, that is the uh, wine stack they have there, the biggest one at sea, and you control the different wines. And, of course, with this one, we're saying that, again, you get your drinks package included, which Sean does like. Now, again, your <laughs> restaurant is award-winning cuisine, and to say to wash that down with the drinks package is fantastic. Now, they've just introduced 18 new shows on Celebrity wow. over the last 18 months, all new uh, cutting-edge entertainment. You've also got the ice bar, the martini bar, which we always say Sean's got his own plaque there, so you can try that. But again, the ports of call you go to are I hope fantastic. He's not watching. Oh, he's, he's not <laughs> watching. He's probably got his feet over the glass of wine anyway. But again, the ships are wonderful, and as I said, we sell so many celebrities. I think if you haven't tried celebrity before, again, they've got the new ships coming out, which of course Edge was launched, Apex is coming out next year. Infinity uh, was renamed in 2007. It's one of their older ones, but a classic, and people do really, really enjoy the ship. Slightly smaller compared to some of the bigger ones out there. Great, and a wonderful itinerary too. So come on, let's take you on your journey. Let's find so, out where we're so, going. So I mean, this is nice. One. This is going to be Spain, France, and Italy. And again, yeah. it's ports of call that some of you may have visited before, but you want to go back. But there's some nice ones. So embark in Barcelona, and then from there we travel down to Valencia. So down in that part of the world, the weather in that time of year will be very, very nice and pleasant. Anyway, again, you've got the beaches, you've got the markets, you've got the shops. You can wander off around there as well. And again, along that promenade area. From there we go down into Alicante. I used to have a house just outside Alicante, and again, great beach area there. Famous with the Brits. The Brits use Alicante a lot. Nice port area there, and again, you can wander off through the back streets there. Old style Baroque style buildings, but again, maybe just chill out on the beach and relax. It's nice Spanish ports of call that again, you may not have actually visited Alicante itself, but it's going to stop there. Then we go into Gibraltar. We go up and see the apes in Gibraltar to the top of the rock. And as I said, I always say this is uh, Britain stayed in the 1970s. <laughs> um, but of course, a lot going on at the moment with Brexit and Gibraltar and wanting their independence. So maybe you can pop there and see what all the fuss is about. But famous for the apes and maybe take a trip up to see them. As I said, always make sure you never have anything in your pockets. Then down to one of my favourite places in Spain, mm, Malaga. I, I always Malaga. think it's fantastic down there. Loads of places to visit. Ronda, Mijas, Porta Banus with the rich and famous. Over to Marbella, again, maybe go and see the Tower we set, filming what some of their programmes over there, and Estepona. But wonderful place, and the, and the weather normally there is very, very good, and you shouldn't have any problems. But Ronda is absolutely magnificent, and Mijas. Then a day at sea to relax and chill out, and then we go down into the south of France. A little bit of people spot in, in the, uh, the port area of Marbella. Say so normally shuttle buses to take you in, and again, here I wouldn't do a tour, I just wander off, meander down. But if you want to go along the Cote d'Azur, you can go down to Villa France, to Nice, to Monaco, Monte Carlo, depending on what you want to do. But I would just chill out in Marseille, it's fantastic. We then actually go down into Villa France for our next port of call, it's normally a tender port, and from there you can make your way into Nice, you can travel along that same coastline. So you've got two days on the south of France, which is wonderful, and the weather down that part of the world is great. Now, May time is the time to be in the south of France. You've got the Cannes Film Festival and you've got the Monaco Grand Prix around that time. Yeah. So the place will be absolutely buzzing. We then go into Italy. We go to the uh, Livorno, which is the port of call, and this is your gateway into uh, Lucca, Siena, and of course Florence and Pisa, depending on what you want to do. So if you've done Florence and Pisa before, you maybe want to try a different tour. But again, if you go into Florence, you've got the, uh, the Duomo, you've got the Ponte Vecchia, and of course Neptune um, and uh, the uh, Statue of David. Pisa, get your famous pictures taken there. But lots to do in Livorno. But Livorno itself is okay, but you want to get out and about and see as much as you can. Civitavecchia, we talk about a lot, is the gateway into Rome, about an hour and a half's journey depending on traffic. And again, the tour I always recommend people do is, is Rome on your own, where you drop near the Colosseum and they pick you up in the Vatican about seven hours later, go and get lost for the oh, day. So they do the transfer. Yeah, they do the transfer and you know right. you've got the bus picking you up to yeah. take you back at the end because people yeah. get a little bit nervous that they're Trying a long way away train. The train. And miss it. Yeah. So I would do that yeah. and we did it. We got dropped at the Colosseum, went all the way through, went to the uh, Trevi Fountain, had something to eat, ended up at the Vatican and then made our way back. Yeah. And then from there, chill out day, back to Barcelona. 
and we'll get you home to the UK. So let's go through what's included. Don't forget, if you want this particular deal, I'll go through that for you in a moment. The free onboard spend, $200 onboard spend per stateroom, that offer does end at midnight tomorrow. So call the team tonight if you want that. Free classic drinks package included. You've got your return flights from Gatwick or Manchester, plus your overseas transfers. And of course, you can book an ocean view or above to qualify for half price gratuities. Again, just call the team for details on that. Your try cruise ID. If you've not tried it, guys, try Celebrity. It's ID 160093. Wonderful chart, 11 day cruise. Go for that ocean view with a drinks package. It's well worth it. Perfect. Now we're going to move on to our. Fine. Oh, oh, we've got a drinks package to whiz through. Let's whiz through that for you. There you can see. Specialty coffees and teas, uh, selected beers, for spirits, wines and cocktails, wide selection of alcoholic beverages as well, and a 15% discount on all wines by the bottle purchased on board. So a great, great deal for you. Now, the sixth cruise, and we've been trying to get ahead of ourselves, to be honest with you, because this is another bucket list cruise. This, there's a lot to share with you on this. Uh, this is your chance to go down under. It is. Well, it's a chance to go all the way down to Papua New Guinea, which I don't think we featured much. And I tell you what, if you start Googling, look at these places, because I've not been to them before, it's very difficult. So they are wonderful destinations. I would defy most people not to have gone to many of these ports of call. And what I would say, this is a completely different itinerary, and it's got one of my favourite destinations in the world, which is Komodo, which I'll talk about a little bit later on. OK, so what we're talking about here is Fred Olsen Cruise Lines, and we're going to be going on to the Boudicca. Uh, before we do anything, though, we're going to fly down and we go to Cairns, yeah? Going to go down to Cairns. So Cairns, obviously, we normally fly into Sydney. You can deviate these flights if you want. So you can stop on the way down, you can fly into Sydney, have a couple of days there, and then we'll fly you up Just to talk Cairns. to the team. Exactly. But with Cairns, obviously, this is the gateway into the Barrier Reef. So you've got a couple of days there. If you want to extend it to two, three, four days, we can do that for you. Now, Yorkies Knob is a destination there. I am actually the Cane Toad champion of Yorkies <laughs> Knob 2011. We raced Cane Toads there. And I won wow. that award. The Australians weren't very happy, but I loved it. Now, also, you've got the Barrier Reef. You've got the beautiful destination of Green Island. And you can also do the Karunda Railway. So I would say if you're going down to this part of the world, do at least three, four days, because there's plenty to do there. And it's a wonderful part of the world. And then from there, we're going to embark the ship. So maybe fly down a couple of days in Sydney, do three or four days in Cairns, and then in, 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 embark for this wonderful, wonderful cruise, which is destinations that we've never featured before. Should we take a chance to look at Fred Olsen? Yeah. Let's do that. So you've got some idea what the ship's all about and what the line is all so about. So they're more of a classical line. As I said, you know, you look at some of the other ships, ships we feature, they're very, you know, modern with the rock climbing and the yeah. surfing. They haven't got these. These are more traditional cruises, but the food is exceptional. As I said, I think it's more of a couple's cruise on this particular one. And I think for a destination like that, that's what it's going to appeal to for people that have got a longer time to take off. Again, with this one, the service is second to number people go back with Fred Olsen time and time again and again the entertainment's very good on board it is a smaller ship now it only holds 536 people wow. which is wonderful in the Brilliant. destinations we're going to yeah. if we turned up into Papua New Guinea with six and a half thousand people, yeah. we'd have a problem. Well, you'd be going ashore in lifeboats, wouldn't you? Exactly. They'd drop but the old 536 lifeboats. people, we can cope on that. Now, Boudicca was christened 2005. It was at a cost of 22.5 million, wow. which is not bad when you've got some of the ships now costing over a billion. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. But you can see how the cruising industry's moved on. But people love the smaller ships. They like that intimacy. That's why the river cruises do as well. They don't yeah. want these big ships and, and anymore. And you, you bump into people you like, and yeah. you bump into them again. Exactly. Some exactly. Of the bigger sometimes, ships, sometimes you lose you've got them. these ships, you never see them again. Yeah. Yeah. But again, what's nice about this is the shows coincide with the dining options on there. And again, this is a nice ship because you've got plenty of days at sea to relax and sunbathe and take it easy, but also quite immersive in the ports of call as well. Yeah, it's fantastic. You can see a great size ship. You've got ships on board. There's all sorts to do. You're going to have a really, really good time. So if you don't like those giant ships, if you don't like the idea of you know, looking for the same people over and over and go, well, where are they? Then and again, when we go into the you. ports of call as well, you're not going to have endless queues to try and get on and off these places. Yeah. And when you get into the ports of call, especially places like Papua New Guinea, they haven't got hundreds and hundreds of coaches sitting there for cruise ships. So all I would say to you is when you go on some of these destinations, please have an open mind, because I've done very, very similar places over in this part of the world before. And they use the vehicles that are available in that part of the world. Right. So you are going to have to go with an open mind. Air condition is pulling down a window. OK, <laughs> that's what I mean. So please go with that attitude. But they want to show off and showcase where they're going. And as I said, it's a place you've probably never been to before. So oh, wow. we've got three destinations in Papua New Guinea. And let's start with them. There let's isn't much going. information. We'll give you a little bit as much as we found. Why don't you go and book it yourself and 
and find out what it's all about. That's yeah. what I would suggest. Brilliant, so, brilliant opportunity. A day at sea on this one, and then we go into Alatoa. Now, I've probably pronounced that wrong, so people will be complaining about that tomorrow, but that's <laughs> how we've said it on here. And with this one here, you've got a chance. You can see the destination you're going into. Wonderful, wonderful vegetation, mountainous sites on there as well. But again, you can go and do a town tour here. You can go out with the local guides. If you want to, there are hikes available. There are a few different tours here, but again, it is very, very limited with the excursion program. You go off and wander around and just take in the views and say that you are in Papua New Guinea. Then you've got a relaxing day at sea. Then we go into Madang. Now here in Madang, you've got the wildlife sanctuary. Again, that, that's the sort of um, sites that you're going to be taken into. Very, very rural, not developed at all. You can try a bit of scuba diving here if you can to. You've also got the cultural centre, a trip over to the lighthouse. But I would say on all of these ports of call, if you can take a tour off in the morning and then just relax in the afternoon, yeah. you want to see where you're going yeah. to. We're then heading to the famous, everyone knows this, Weewak. Everyone's oh. been to Weewak, haven't they? No. You've never been? Okay. Never been. So Weewak here, uh, again, we, we've, we found out a little bit of information, um, but again, this is a great chance to go to some of the beaches, relax and take it easy. You've also got the Japanese Memorial Peace Park, uh, which was obviously affected back in the war. That's something to go and see. And they'll find small destinations on these tours to go and see, and you'll go with the locals that will bring it to life. I know this is on the coast rather than the river, but actually looking at the images, it reminds me of sailing down the Amazon. Exactly, exactly that like same sort of thing. Amazon. So you've got to go with that sort of open mind. But again, this is the this is why you've chosen this crew to obviously go and experience. We then move on to uh, three days at sea, and then into Ambon, which is part of the Maluka Islands in Indonesia. So again, this is another chance for a place you've probably not been to before. They've got the nature reserve. They've got wonderful beaches there, and all of these destinations. It's so cheap to eat and drink out as well. Yeah. Go and experience. The money you give goes to the local culture and the local people as well. But again, if you want to do some scuba diving or snorkeling, really, really good place to do that. Then a relaxing day at sea, and then we go into my favourite destination in the world, which is Komodo. Now, I was fortunate enough to go there about six or seven years ago to go and see the dragons. Now, the way Komodo works is they'll take you across in groups of about 60 people at a time, and you're yeah. split off with your guides. Now, the dragons, they, people think they're in cages. They're not. They are on the island. Wow. There are 1,200 Running on the wild. island. Yeah. So what they do is they put, they put the goats out the night before, so they feed, and they're a little bit more docile, and wow. you'll make your way around to the watering hole, and you'll get to see the dragons. Okay? Now, with that one, once you've seen the dragons, you'll go around, you'll get your little artifacts, and you'll come back onto the beach. Then you'll board back on the ship. So just make sure when you go to Komodo, you do the tour on there for you. It's wonderful. You may be able to do a trip out to Pink Beach. It's one of the most famous beaches in the world. It's Pink uh, Sands, which wow. is wonderful. But Komodo is something. All I would say with Komodo is, is the dragons run twice as fast as humans. So make sure the person you're next to, you can outrun them. That's all <laughs> I'm going to say to you. All I'm going to say. Incredible, isn't it? From there, we go down into Bali. Now, yeah. Bali, again, I've been fortunate enough to go to six, seven times before, and I've holidayed there. And we've given you a three-night stay. Now, I'll be honest, accommodation in Bali is not that expensive. So if you're going down to extend it to five or six days, you're doing yeah. a tour of a lifetime. So spend more time down in Bali. Loads of places to see. Seminyak and Kuta are very lively. That's where a lot of the Australian backpackers go to because it's their near destination when they leave Australia. Also, you can go to places like Ubud, which is the more artisan area. You can maybe do some elephant trekking at one of the elephant trek centres they have. Maybe a trip over to a Potato Head, which is a famous bar there in Bali, which is one of my favourites, along the beach, chill out on some of the hammocks. But there is so much to see there. And again, Bali is one of my favourite, favourite destinations to go to. And if you've got the opportunity, extend it from three to maybe four or five days. Right, again, this is a deposit-only cruise. Yep. And this is for January next year, so of course you can spread the cost as well, zero percent interest. It's a brilliant, brilliant opportunity. So you get to see Australia, Papua New Guinea and Indonesia phenomenal I and mean, it's what a cultural experience and again break it down again we say it again 22 day package this is for 2799 for an ocean view so again what's that 120 pounds per person yeah, per day so again break it down there but i think if you're going to go down that generally people will have more time to spend so i think if you're going to that part of the way maybe tag it in if you've not done australia before with a bit of sydney and then as i said maybe try and extor, uh, extend that barley stay at the end purely up to you but that's what i would do if i was going down and doing this particular the cruise. Cruise ID number on this one is 182897. 182897. So you've got some idea where in the world you will be. So let's go through what's included. Again, brilliant value for money. So you've got the two nights in Cairns, so you've got the three night hotel in Bali. Free upgrade, this is why you want to go with Planet Cruise. Free upgrade from inside to ocean view cabin. 
and then you've got your return flights and your overseas transfers. Again, just to say with the return flights from London down to that part of the world, we probably can do Manchester, Birmingham, Glasgow, Newcastle, Emirates will do a stop in Dubai and then down, so we should be able to do that for you. But again, give the guys a call and they can deviate that a little bit if you want to change the package. Glenn, if it's all right with you, I'd like to try and whisk through all six deals super fast. Are you up for it? Let's do it. Okay, do you want to do the first one? I'll go with the first right, one. Right, here go we go then. We're going to do all This is a recap. Write down the cruise ID numbers. If there's one that you're particularly interested in, then call the team. That's fine. Okay, so let's have a look. First one we had on there was the Ventura. Yeah. So this is Ventura going out on the 21st of July, lead date on that one. And this one is starting at 615 per person. Again, remember, family of four, the, belt, uh, the insides and ocean views are already sold out on that. So if you're looking at taking three or four of you in a cabin, you're going to have to go up to the balconies. Nice itinerary on this one. Again, it's a Planet Cruise exclusive, a £1 per person deposit. Tips are now included, as from May time with P&O. Family of four balcony from 3765. And again, if you're going down there, you want to have one night stay, holiday in Winchester for £95 per person. Includes your breakfast, parking and port transfers. And then our second one was Holland America, five-star cruise line, 21 nights down to Australia. This is on board the Nordam and you get a 14-night cruise on board here. Again, deposit only and you've got the free upgrade from Ocean View to Veranda. So you see we've got the 5th and 19th of November, the 4th and 17th of December of this year. Two-night hotel in Auckland and then another two nights in Sydney. I would recommend you make the two nights in uh, Sydney three nights, but of course it's all, all about your personal choice. Just talk to the team. Free upgrade from the Ocean View to the Veranda, 14-night cruising on board the five-star Nordam itinerary operates in reverse order sometimes. So exactly the ports that Glenn told us about, but you might do it the other way around. And then return flights from London and all the overseas transfers included as well. Write down those ID numbers 203811. Now we move on to our river cruise. This is on the Emerald Star, and this one is a TV show exclusive. Free all inclusive drinks. Hurrah! Our favourite. Now savings of up to 800 per person plus an extra 200 per person on balcony suites. And remember the savings are included in the price that yeah. we've shown today. Yeah. You've got excursions at every port. You don't have to do them if you don't want to but they are included. And you've got an overnight on board in Budapest. Ship and itineraries differ depending on the departure dates. You can call for details. And again return flights from London. They will have alternatives that possibly a supplement. The team can look into that. Lead date on that 5th of August 2019. Free Wi-Fi and tips and the ID is 167471. I bet this next one's busy. This is Las Vegas and Carnival Cruise is taking you down to Mexico. Phenomenal value for money. Just just find out what it'll cost you to fly to Vegas. We and just back. said one of the guys just said to me it probably costs that for the flight. I so. reckon I reckon it's true. Eight seven nine per person and you're getting a ten night trip. So you've got the three nights in Las Vegas. So let's go through the uh, what's included. TV show exclusive, that's the first ten bookings. They may have already been done. First ten bookings will get free social Wi Fi package. Three night hotel in Las Vegas. Then you've flown to Los Angeles. Again you can add time in LA if you would like to and if you've flown out there why why not? Seven night cruise uh, on board the Carnival Splendor and the itineraries will differ depending on the departure date. And I say differ, probably just go backwards. So really, really easy one. Uh, take advantage of it. Limited availabilities on this particular one and there's departure, uh, uh, sorry, deposit only. Please don't miss out. Then we go on to the Celebrity Infinity. Now this was our Spain and France and Italy from Barcelona. Uh, 6th of May this one, uh, Ocean Views from 1469 and this has got the free on board spend but that finish by midnight tomorrow. Free classic drinks package, return flights from Gatwick or Manchester plus your transfers and you book that Ocean View to qualify also for half price gratuities, we forgot to mention that. Deposit only on this one and that's a great one on Celebrity. And then of course we had Fred Olsen, 22 nights, that was Australia, Papua New Guinea and Indonesia. Uh, you got the two night hotel in Cairns, you got three nights in Bali, free upgrade from inside to Ocean View cabin and of course you return flights and your overseas transfers as well. Cruise ID number on that one was 182897. So lots. And then there was loads of little extra ones as well, Yeah, wasn't we had the it? little one. We've got that Morello Explorer. We've got the single uh, River travelers. Cruise as well. And we've got the one on Costa. Now, remember, it's January as well, so the massive sales on at the moment. So a lot of them are £1 deposits. You can spread the costs over zero 0% interest plan and a price match guarantee. Now, again, the guys are going to be there till 11 o'clock tonight. If anyone wants to speak to me, I'll be back in at 8 o'clock, 8 o'clock tomorrow morning, and I'll be answering the phone. And just ask for Glenn. She said, I want to speak to him. <laughs> speak to Glenn. Uh, I hope you wrote down that phone number because uh, the team was there. If you haven't, go to planetcruise.com and you'll be able to find out more information. You can get the phone number there too. Hey, big thanks to you, Glenn. Cheers, big guys. thanks to thanks. you too. Hiya. Thanks for watching the video. Now, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe below. Remember to click that bell to get all notifications. And if you're looking for more fantastic travel video content, 
like this click on the videos to the right hand side. It'll be really informative. Or click on the Planet logo to the left to go to our website for some fantastic deals. Keep cruising.